everybody, it's Nalene. It's the uh, first day that uh, it's gonna have a good consecutive days. That's gonna be nice. And today is almost 80 degrees outside uh, for some reason. Uh, we just had a uh, couple of what a couple of days of uh, 25, 28 degrees. So I uh, didn't uh, prune this um, lavender. These are Provençal lavender. Anyway, um, this is gonna look like it's a horror movie, especially for me, because I've never really pruned a lavender this tragic um, in, a, in spring and um, it's hard to get lavender really growing nicely here in the Richmond area because it's very moist and so I wanted to show you how to prune this lavender um, to have a nice bushy and gorgeous flowers um, through the summer. So here you go. I wanted to show you how drastic it would be. I'm sorry it's gonna look like it's a horror movie but uh, <laughs> you have to really be brave to prune the lavender as close to the ground as possible so it, everything would be nice and beautiful and lush through the summer. All right, here you go. So I've already pruned one, two, three, four, five, six lavender in a row, and I'll show you after I prune this one so you can see how tragic or how low and how you could possibly feel, oh my gosh, she's going to kill this lavender. Anyway, so here you go, all right? So I'm gonna just go down and just that's my first cut. There you go. Really low. As you can see how much I cut. It's about a third and about four inches from the ground, you know. Uh, where the cut is. And I'm gonna make it almost like a rounded, you know, rounded uh, shape. So uh, when it grows, it's gonna be nice and uh, beautiful and um, very nice, very nice and shapely. So please don't uh, be afraid. First time I did this, I um, was really afraid. I really feel like I was just butchering this lavender so badly. So, see, it's huge. I feel so bad, but I have to do it. Otherwise it's gonna be not so bush bushy or um, not so compact, you know, inside. So it's not gonna have a, a nice growth uh, in inside if you don't take it this this much. It's a bit scary, but we have to do it.
the butterflies are coming. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to scare you, but this is how you have to do it in order to have a nice, bushy, and clean shape of your lavender. You don't want them to get all woody. If you let them grow bigger, or if you don't prune it this this way it's really gonna have a woody growth so much that um, your lavender won't look so nice and uh, compact there's already some new growth in there. Okay. Okay, this is how it looks. All right. See how it's about four inches, five, four to five inches high with the, some of the new growths. But I cut about more than, I guess I more than a third of the bush. So I cut about more than 12 inches of the, of the lavender. So I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the lavender that I have already pruned. I'm gonna try to do it slowly. See? So all of them is gonna grow pretty evenly. And in the middle of there is gonna be a uh, generous gardener that's coming this, um, this year in, in, in maybe a couple of weeks. And I'm going to plant a generous gardener over there to climb up the, um, the, the deck. All right, so there you go. Don't be afraid to prune your lavender as closely to the ground as you can. Leave about four to five inches high. And believe me, it's going to grow beautifully and bushy just like the one at the end. Okay?